All right, here we go, guys. Ranger RCI-99N1. This one is uh, extremely lightly used. And, uh, I'll say that it hasn't been used much at all. A customer traded it in and got either a 955 or a uh, Quad 5N2. I can't remember exactly how we what we were doing the trade on, but uh, as you can see how it works here. There's your millions of channels that you have with this radio. Uh, this one's from Mr. Ryan. Made him a deal on it because, you know, obviously I could have sold this as a new radio. Nobody would ever know the difference, but uh, it has technically been used a little bit, so it's been sold as a uh, very lightly used radio. 14.8 is our test voltage. If you run less than that, you can expect less output, obviously. Um, but that's what we're going to test it at, 14.8. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it does here. So let's turn our RF power all the way down. We've got a 500-watt slug in here, so we're going to be looking at the middle scale. This is average power first. Hello, uh, audio. About 50 watts average. Uh, audio. Go to PP. Audio, check one, two, three. Audio, check one, two, three. Like 150 PP. Now, if we want to turn our RF power wide open, our peak power is not really going to come up any. We'll see if our average does. This is wide open. Was that about a 20 watt day key? Hello, and the average does come up, so oh yeah, quite a bit. 75, 80 watts average. PEP's not gonna come up much. Um, if we want to turn it back to nine o'clock, let's see if we can get like a five watt day key. That's gonna be close. Audio, 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 audio. 60, 70 watts. Average power there. So that's what she's doing on a AM. If you guys want to see the current draw, hello, 12 amps at 14.8 volts. Uh, if we just leave the RF power where it's at, go to sideband, hello, uh, yeah, you know, it's obviously not going to draw as much because we have it turned back to 10 o'clock. Uh, if we turn it wide open, hello, uh, audio, audio. Like the 69 plus, they don't quite do as much on sideband as they do AM. Uh, still do good power, you can see. And I don't even think he's running this thing on sideband, but uh, I'm expecting around 100 watts. Audio, check one, two, three. Audio, check one, two, three. Audio, about 140, 130. Whereas on AM, they were doing like what, 150, 155, something like that. So, does a good job. AM, sideband. Um, these are badass radios. Look, I'll be fair. I don't know why anybody would want to buy an uh, RCI X9 over one of these. I mean, I like the X9s. At one time, they were my favorite radio that Ranger made. But the 99 N series, um, this platform um, just slaughters all their other mobile radios to me. Um, you know, obviously, until you get to like the Longhorn and stuff like that. But these, uh, you know, you've got. This radio, you know, 125, 150-watt radio. You've got the 99N2, 250, 300-watt radio. And then you got 99N4, 500, 600-watt radio. I mean, everything you could want um, in this platform, you know, you can get with these 99N series. And even to go below that, the uh, TRE Top 1, it's basically on this same platform. It's just a low-output radio. You know, it's a 30, 35-watt radio. So TRE Top 1... Ranger 99 N1, 99 N2, N4. Um, I mean, basically fills any gap you could want. And I think that's what Ranger is kind of trying to do is have a radio that fits every need you have. So if you want to use low drive amps, RM Italy's and low drive amps, you've got that TRE Top 1. If you got something like a four pill you want to use, maybe a six, you've got this guy. Um, and then, you know, you've got the 99N2 and 99N4 for your larger amps, like a 99N2 for an 8 pill, 99N4 for like your 16s and stuff like that. And on those radios, you can turn the amp section off. This radio doesn't really have an amp section per se. It's just a high power uh, radio. It's just the radio is built to do high power. So the red switch doesn't really do a whole lot um, on these. On your... Uh, on your uh, 99N4s and 99N2s, it turns the amp section off. 
But uh, that's it, guys. RCI99M1. I have one of these brand new left on the website right now. So if you're interested, you like how these do. You know, the performance can be a little bit different, but they're all going to be pretty close to the same. So if you're interested, roostercb.com. Appreciate everybody. Questions, comments, shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Shoot me an email, roostertn at roostercb.com. See you, bye.